Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the Around the World updates in the Simpsons Tapped Out. Crafting! There is crafting in this major event, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the items I've already put down, and as well, craft some of the items I have not put down. So let me show you exactly what I've put down first of all. We're gonna, we're gonna shimmy shammy way over here to the corner. He's got his own little spot. Crafting spot, so to speak. Away from everything. There's the big volcano. By the way, when you now tap it, the lava comes out. That actually does not pop up until you finish the little main quest line, you know, for the item. And then at the end, lava pops up, which is really, really cool. So these are the items I've put down already. We've got a taxi, and when you tap it, It says, Hong Kong, hello KC, you're awesome. We've got the, the Japanese cherry tree, the Japanese maple tree, and then we've got this little doohickey right here. No, we're not talking about you, Mr. Truist. We're talking about the Progata, I think is what it's called anyway. And when you tap it, isn't that awesome? Hey, what are you doing? Go away. This is only for the nice viewers that are watching this video. So these are the items I've put down already. By the way, the cherry trees and the maple trees do not do anything when you tap them. But those look really, really cool. So I thought, you know what? I've got to at least get some of them before the event is going to end. But let me show you exactly what the items we've got. And then I will show you the items I'm going to put down. We'll start with the scooter. And the wine barrels. Dr. Frisk Building, Lavender Field, Venus de Milo, that's pretty cool, very, very classic, Motorcycle and Sidecar, Paris Hotel, Lantern, Pagoda, did I say, did I say that incorrectly before? I think I might have said Progata, but regardless, I probably said it wrong either way, the Tory, for 260. As we keep going down the list, there's another building. There's, I don't know how to pronounce that. Churascarius. Street Soccer Court. And the Tree Steakhouse. So the Tree Steakhouse is the most expensive item at 2680 The other most expensive item is... The Paris Hotel for the same price of 2680 So the items I'm going to put down in this video are going to be the Paris Hotel the tree steakhouse, and I thought it would be really, really cool to put down the Shinto Shrine because I'm very fascinated by Japanese culture and I think this looks really, really interesting. And I think it's going to go really well with some of the other Japanese stuff that I've got. So the first building we're going to put down is the Shinto Shrine. Goodbye, credits. I knew you so well. Alright, let's place this down here. Right there. Hooray! Hello, tram car! I already did a video for you. You are not invited to this crafting video. You can go over there for now. Alright, so what is this going to sound like? Is it going to have an animation? There's obviously no quest because nothing is popping up. I, I don't know. I really can't think of anything. So let's just tap it. It's really, really quiet, so I can't really, okay? I honestly can't really hear what they're saying, so I'm gonna have to amp that up in the editing. There's that. I like it an awful lot. I think it's really gonna go well. Eventually, when I actually have some sort of area for this sort of stuff. But next on the list, we are gonna do the Paris Hotel, which is not Japanese related. Actually, you know what? No, no. We'll go with the... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> I'm kind of hesitating. I don't know what to do next. We'll go with the Paris Hotel. This item is unique, which means you can only put down one. Goodbye. Credits once again. Okay, so we'll place you here. For now. There's a sumo stadium. Heads up! 
So that's where buildings come from. Ooh. I like that. We've also got a quest. Before we click Martin, let's click the Paris Hotel. Let us see what it sounds like. French sounds? Hiding on the table from La Sarie. Did I say that correctly? Make Martin practice his French. Are you going to the hotel, Martin? What are we going to have for an animation? I'm going to say that, I mean, there's so many windows. There's got to be lights. There has to be. And I'm going to say that the door is open. A little golden door there, so. That's what I'm saying. I'm sticking to it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't notice the hotel sign. Okay, scratch that. I think that some of the windows will light up and the hotel sign will go on. That's what I'm going with. Wait a second, you're not Martin. Why are you there? You are not invited to the Paris Hotel, so go away. That's good. Martin, where are you? You're taking a very long time and I don't like it. Martin? Here he comes! Remember what I said? Window lights, hotel light. Well, I was one of two, I guess, kind of. The windows light up, the door lights up, and one of the windows are open, and smoke is popping out, well, puffing out. I still would have liked it if the hotel sign was actually like flashing or something. Finally, we are going to put down the, uh, what was it called again? The tree steakhouse, I think? Let's see, yeah, tree steakhouse, here we go. You can see, like, I barely have enough. I am, like, nine left, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have nine left. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Let's just tap you. Get the hell out of there. You're not invited. What did I say before? Oh, God, did he go in the hotel? Heads up! Oh, my God. So that's where buildings come from. Dude, that is sweet looking. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I see you, Apu. But first, like we did with the other buildings, we have to tap it to see what it sounds like. But I guess I'm going to say that because it's a restaurant, silverware, hitting glasses or something like that. Serving steak with a side of twigs and berries. Yeah, so it sounds like they're trying to cut through a steak, it looks like. Not bad. Make a poo order a salad. Oh. He's busy. No! But I wanted to see him in the thing. And we're gonna store the building. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. Now there's, where's a poo? There's a poo! Hooray! Hey, what the? Order a salad. Okay, let's do this. Okay, whatever. Here he comes. I'm gonna say the windows light up, and that's it. So it's really close. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think of anything with the, uh, the tree. That would have been pretty obvious, I guess. I guess I was thinking more... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I was thinking more realistically, I guess. I don't know. Whatever that even means. Probably because you don't ever see a big giant tree on a building like that, so... It looked really cool, though. Now, in terms of which ones would be my favorite... I think... I don't know, actually, you know what, I, I think I really like the tree one the most, the tree steakhouse, because it, it's so different, it's so unique, it just, it really, really stands out. So that's why I like it, but I guess I could ask you the same question, of the three buildings I've put down, which one do you think is the best? Do you like the tree steakhouse, do you like the Paris Hotel, or do you like the shrine? Let me know, or maybe I'll put a poll, I don't really know, we'll see. I've never done a poll really in a while, so that would actually be a really cool thing, so... Maybe I'll do a poll and you guys can, can see which building that you like the most. I didn't get all the buildings, but I put down four of the six, I guess would have been a way of putting it. So I think that's still pretty good in the long run in terms of being able to get most of the items and stuff. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name's Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.